everyone, welcome back to Read a Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read a book about two unlikely things and how they become friends. It's called Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship. Let's find out about how these two become friends. Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship, written and illustrated by Edward Hemingway. Mac was a good apple. He shared his toys with the other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after art class, and loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac could bob for hours. On cloudy days, Mac could search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day, as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon, all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles, but one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops, and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. And now I can't seem to get him out of your head? It was you! And that's how Mac met Will. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself, and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day. until he took Will to the orchard. Look at Mac. He's got worms. Mac's a rotten apple. I'm not rotten. I'm quite sweet, actually. So they left. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day, it happened again. Ha ha, it's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. Will wrote in the dirt, you are a good apple, with a little picture of Mac. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends, diving fearlessly into the watering hole, and painting in Granny Smith's class. But nothing was the same. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. Not a big hole, just a teeny tiny little, you know, a small hole just big enough to fit. And nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low and high and in between, in the dirt, around the watering hole, and just when he had given up all hope, he looked up 
in the sky. There's Will with a book and he's flying this leaf in the sky. Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages. How did you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Good and happy, and there's nothing bad about that. I had so much fun reading with you today. If you'd like to read together again soon, click on the subscribe link below and be sure to give this video a like. If you'd like some activities to go along with these books, go to readaroukids.com or click on the link in the description. There we have games, puzzles, science experiments, and even some crafts. If you'd like to follow us on our social media, we give away free activities every month. I loved reading with you today and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readeroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.